some developers do what they're told in this industry. Some developers do what they can in this industry. And few developers, they do what they want in this industry. Looks like PlayStation developers just happen to be the latter. What's going on people, this is King's Blood and I'm back with another video. If you missed my last video, the link is in the description, so definitely check that out. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, I want to say sorry for the little hiatus, but things have been a little slow in these gaming streets and I don't like to feed BS to my subscribers. It's just not me. I didn't want to talk about crossplay or that dog poo Fortnite. I sincerely apologize. Now, you guys know how my brain works, all right? I see the subliminal shots as if the name of the person or the company the shots were directed towards was attached to it. So forgive me if I don't believe every PlayStation developer reiterating the same thing to the media about having the freedom to develop whatever game they want is somehow done by coincidence, all right? There is no coincidence there. It's all there when you put two and two together. Which brings me to the latest incident of the statement of freedom to create being fed to the media. Former senior producer of Killzone, Stuart Tilly, whose studio was shut down by Sony, was asked why he chose to open a new studio and make exclusive games for PlayStation, even though there's more money in the multi-platform lane. He says, individual studios have their own culture and their own tech and their own games. And to a large degree, you are masters of your own destiny. But then you still got the power of the mothership, especially if they get behind your game, like they did with, say, Little Big Planet. Masters of your own destiny. But you still get the power of the mothership. This man is letting you know that PlayStation developers do what they want in these gaming streets with the full backing of Sony, you know? Every Sony developer has said this in some form or some way over the last few years. We've heard it from Naughty Dog. We've heard it from Guerrilla Games. We've heard it from the man himself, Yoshida. Trust me when I tell you, they aren't saying this for shits and giggles. They've heard about the problem with many other studios being put on a leash by their publisher. They know about what's going on at EA, Activision. I'm sure they heard about the Bungie thing, you know? They're damn near rubbing it in their faces that Sony allows them the creative freedom to make whatever game they want. And that it's the main reason that Sony first party studios are winning right now. Essentially, these shots are like the PlayStation version of Suge Knight at the Source Awards. You know, he's like, any game developers out there that want to be creators, they don't want to have to worry about the publisher trying to tack on half big multiplayers, all type of microtransactions and games as a service. Come to PlayStation. You know, that's how they doing it over there, man. I'm serious. This is clear as day to me. Like, they're basically throwing shots and recruiting at the same damn time. These publishers better cuff their devs, man. I'm telling you. I'm pretty sure that if I'm the head of a development team whose contract is almost up with whatever publisher, and as a team we're tired of being forced to add things to the game that affects the game negatively in the eyes of consumers, that only on PlayStation catchphrase and that damn near 80 million install base is pretty attractive. Now I need you guys to let me know I'm not crazy. All right, hit that comment box and let me know what you guys think of these shots playstation devs are throwing i can't be the only one who is seeing it all clearly king's blood out